We'll start with our game, and that's Ohio State at Wisconsin, especially considering what we just said. This is 7.30 on NBC. College countdown starts 7 o'clock, and then we'll take you through all the action. But especially considering what just happened to Iowa to open up the Big Ten West, and especially considering Ohio State now has been battle-tested in so many facets, in so many ways. They beat Notre Dame. We were there for that one at South Bend on the last, basically the last play of the game, uh, Chip Trainum touchdown. They then turn around and beat Maryland after their bye week at home, which was another test against a very good offense and an experienced quarterback. And then, of course, this past week, a, a huge one against Penn State, and that was the one that everybody was saying, all right, this feels like the time that Ohio State's going to trip up. They don't. And Kyle McCord's gotten better every week. The defense continues to play as a unit. They've done it now without Travion Henderson last week, and you mentioned without Emeka Abuka. And so – we know how much talent they have. We know how good they've been. It might not look the same as it has the last couple of years, but this is a team that's very much the real deal, very much in the college football playoff conversation, putting themselves in that position. And yet you go to Madison, and it feels like when you go to Madison during Halloween weekend with a team that's in yeah. contention for the Big Ten West, kind of throw the records out the window and let everything happen. Yeah, it's going to be fun. I think it's going to be a really interesting game um, for all those reasons. Uh, and let's say this about Ohio State. You know, you immediately think of Marvin Harrison, and, and honestly, I, I I may vote for Marvin Harrison for the Heisman Trophy. He, he may be the best football player in college football at any position right now. And certainly, you know, again, when I think of voting, which I am a voter, I think of how do guys play in the biggest games, the games that matter the most. What do they do? You know, and so that was a huge game last week on the lot on the line, uh, and he he was the best player on the field, right? But the, the Ohio State season is going by their defense right now. Their defense is setting the tone and putting them in position to win every game. You know, they played well at Notre Dame in South Bend. You know, they have played well all season. The biggest thing they're doing in, uh, in Jim Knowles' second year as a defensive coordinator is they are, they're a little bit different structurally. They're not playing as much heavy man-to-man. -man. They're not playing as much – without a safety in the middle, it's a little bit more zone. It's a little bit more. Let's, let's keep everything in front and not give up big plays because last year where they got hurt at the end of the year was too many explosive plays and they're not giving those up. They didn't give them up against Penn state. They haven't given them up all year and their front four is so good um, that they can kind of trust them to control the line of scrimmage so they can afford to kind of play a little bit looser in the back end. They don't have to bring safeties down into the box so much to stop running games because the front seven is kind of handling things right now for Ohio State. So their defense is playing at an extremely high level. Now, Wisconsin, you know, uh, new coach, Luke Fickle, a lot of history there with Ohio State, right? He went there. He was a great player there. He was an assistant there for a long time. Interim head coach there. Left to go to Cincinnati. Great run there with the Bearcats. First year at Wisconsin. Different offense. Phil Longo, completely different looking offense. Now he's got to do it with a backup quarterback. And Braden Locke, I mean, he, he, he's going to have to play extremely well take care of the football against this team. Uh, and then Braylon Allen's got to be the, he's got to be the bell cow, yeah. right? You got to have balance run and pass. And, and Braylon Allen is that guy uh, for Wisconsin and, and running the football. So it'll be fun to watch. It's going to be a great atmosphere um, and, and a lot of red. We'll all be seeing red uh, on this one. <laughs> So I, you brought up Raylan Allen, and it feels like that's got to be the main key for Wisconsin to win a game like this is they've got to run it effectively, which, again, is what it felt like Penn State went away from with both Singleton and, and yeah. their own Allen of Catron variety. But you've got big offensive linemen, who a lot of which will probably play at the next level. You've got a, a running back that's been stupendous through this season. But exactly what you just said, that front seven, especially for Ohio State, is so darn good. And everyone wants to talk about Marvin Harrison. I was glad that you mentioned Cade Stover because he's quietly, yeah. quietly one of the best tight ends in the country. Yeah. He will play on Sundays and he'll be effective on Sundays because he's a great blocker and he's really taken more and more steps forward as a pass catcher where this season he's become, he had already been a threat the last two years really. But yeah. this season it feels like he's, he's kind of taken it to a whole new level and, and Kyle McCord and him have developed a really nice chemistry. So I'd look out for that, but that that run versus the the front seven of Ohio State yeah. feels like the key and the biggest key of this game. Yeah, I mean, it really is. I mean, can, can Wisconsin 
run the football well enough that forces Ohio State to bring one of those safeties down to get involved in stopping the run. If they can't, and Ohio State can defend it with six guys in the box, then then it really shifts to Ohio State having the advantage. Uh, you know, we saw Kyle McCord play well on the road, particularly at the end in South Bend. It'll be a similar atmosphere that he's going into mm-hmm. in this one on Saturday night. And he's going to have to, you know, communicate, keep his poise. You know, they're going to make some plays. He's going to make some plays. And again, for Ohio State, when you think, okay, you know, when are we going to see the best version of Ohio State? Uh, it's a little bit hard to say because Travion Henderson is their best running back, and we yep. haven't seen him in three weeks. All right. Emeka Abuka is also a first round draft caliber wide receiver. We haven't really seen him at full strength for a couple weeks. So we're not really seeing all that Ohio State could be on offense. I mean, they played, you know, Denzel Burke didn't play their best cover corner against Penn State. And they, they didn't have a problem without him.